Oh no. Escape the dream I dreamed. What happened? What did she do? Run! We gotta get her out of there! Holy shit, Hart blew up the O2 surplus. She sealed the tunnel! She really didn't want anchors following us to Omicron. Ah oh, shit, she's fucking hurt. Her suit is leaking. Oh. We have to get her to Omicron. Shit, it's bad, real bad. Oh fuck, no! Hmm. So, have I provided a way for Acres to leave accidentally? Is it uh, safe to say? <laughs> safe to say? Is it weird to say? I, I mean, I like being out in the water. It was scaring me for a bit, but I, I think I'm happy to be out here again. I'm not gonna lie. What's up this way? Oh, music. All right, let's find Omicron. Yeah, but I don't think I have my. <laughs> Are they infected? I don't think I have my Omni tool. Maybe I do. I kind of wish this was like Subnautica, where if you look down, you could actually see your feet. So these are all power failure. What do these do? I guess when I was speculating earlier that now that we know that we're a robot, you know, we wouldn't maybe continue breathing hard when we're running. Like maybe that was a, a construct of our brain to ease us into the fact that we're a robot. But having now seen our scan where we're part human, Perhaps we do still have some form of lungs. Let's just go see what this is really quick. jump cut to regretting to be in the water <laughs> we'll see i guess subnautica is another one on the list yo subnautica is so good so 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 good manual override i guess this is already where i want to be pressure pump I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna hop down and make sure I didn't totally miss anything down here. I don't think I did. I think this is kind of it. Yeah, we need to have some sort of power going. Everything's offline. Where is the no pressure pump? <laughs> right here. No pressure. Or pull my finger. <laughs> That'll relieve some pressure. Hi. Okay, so we gotta turn these. Nope. Nope. Manual override. Okay, warning. Before flushing, make sure to open valves and turn on the pump. Open valves. Okay. Open valves. How do I open? <laughs> I 
So, does it help to turn the pump on first? Do I have to hit the button first? Okay, I see. Okay, one. Two. Pump. Flush. Nice. Did it. Okay. Okay, I see. was that? <sighs> I'm not getting anything. I can't read him like the others. Interesting. Why not? Maybe no electronics in them? Next to Omicron, a smaller building connected to the main site. Can't you tell? No, my view is pretty limited. There's some heavy restrictions on my system access. Uh oh. Did you find a power suit? Not yet. Trying to figure out how to get into Omicron, the big building. Oh, okay. Keep up the good work. Thank That's you. It. You got nothing? <laughs> good luck. Thanks. So helpful. Okay, power failure. Okay. How are you so okay with all this? With what? Being a talking box, for one thing. Not being human. That's not so bad. So, you're not bothered at all by not having a body? I'm getting there. You're <laughs> making me feel really self-conscious. Come on, be serious. I never felt that comfortable being human in the first place. This isn't much worse. Not being able to move would freak me out. Glad you got the box and not me. Would make it a little easier to help out if I had a body, but you're doing a good job. Just figured being able to stretch a little would give you some ease. Mm. My physical constraints don't translate to my experience very well. I feel about as human as before, but as if suspended in air. Which is kind of interesting now that Put I it back. It. Put it back. I want it back. Put it back. Okay, fine, Kath, fine, fine. Why do you think I was made? Why would this AI, the WoW, bring me here? <laughs> yeah, I can't think when you're talking so much. I have my own beliefs, but nothing that can be verified. Tell me, why do you think the WoW brought me here? The WoW had a range of assignments, but they all sprung from one single idea. Preserve humanity. Okay, so that the was the, the WoW. Killing everything, leaving a fraction of humanity left alive. The WoW uh. started to compensate. It's restoring humanity. I think so, but I don't think we share its definition of human. Or life, for that matter. Hmm. So that is its protocol. To preserve humanity. And it's doing Catherine, it. Are we alive? That's We're asking a lot of questions right now. <laughs> we lack meaningful definitions. I just figured there must be a way to know. To know if this life is worth living. Mm, that is a good question. You assume you've changed so much, but have you really... That's another good know. question. I don't feel so different. The world sure does. I never realized how much the idea of myself depended on where I am. How do you mean? I miss Toronto. And not because my friends and family are there, but because I know where I fit in. In Toronto, I know who I am. That's an interesting observation. So I want to get to Omicron. 
in the least amount without using up all the power. One, two, three, four, five. Let use fish fear. Oh, we do kind of want Omicron lighting. That would be nice. Oh, we broke it. Frick. Oh, no. nice we got outside lighting and lighting in the building maybe we didn't need to do that but I wanted it <laughs> okay radio buffer Boober, do we have any painkillers left this tinnitus is becoming crippling sorry we only have heavy stuff left morphine level drugs I'll take it is about to explode. We can do. That's stuff for emergencies. Besides, Cameron thinks the ringing will settle when JR reaches 100%. Then tell him to hurry the fuck up. What is JR? Should be a matter of hours. Just hang in there. Keep me posted. Yeah. Well, um, I have this thing I need to take care of. So I'll talk to you later, okay? Sure thing, Herb. He must have overloaded his black box. Humans have black boxes? Here we do. Company policy. Oh, well. It records your vitals to help medical personnel treat you in case of accidents. That's how I can hear the dead. Right. Yeah, you should be able to data mine black boxes mm. just like the intercom at Theta. So if we listen to him again, we'll do that really quick. That's. We can't data mine this black box. Hey, what? Data mine this black this box? Not really. <laughs> Not that familiar with the people at Omicron. Hmm. Oh no. I did hear whack. There has to be a way to cancel a lockdown. Have a look around the room. Have a look around the room. Did you do that, Catherine? What? Uh oh. Never mind. Oh no. The wow is on to us. We were talking to Herb, or we were Herb talking to someone? Uh, we'll check. Note update enables black boxes, fail safe. CRTH4 cartridge implemented. Standard 4x extension, area calibrator, diagnostic tool. Uh, this could be a thing. Press U, U, 78 underscore, wow, X77. Parentheses. Stuff needed to make the crane work again. Unnecessary security update for the paranoid lab rats. Dead people don't bite. That's not true now. <laughs> I think hmm. I solved it. Solved what? Why do I get the feeling that we just got lured into the back of a van? <laughs> what are you talking about? I think you're right. It's luring us in. Or... It is battling with something. Omicron retracted the quarantine shutters. Lockdown cancelled. Something wants us to come inside. And we want to go inside. What's the problem? Come on, let's get going. Oh, Catherine. <laughs> so you would. 
get in the van if it gave you candy. What is this? What is this? I don't know. It's a whole area up here I guess I didn't explore? Uh... Oh! Here we go. Relayed message. Adam Golaski is ordered to come to Theta as soon as possible. Gask, I tried to figure out what it was about, but they wouldn't tell me anything. All I know is they asked if you were missing or if you were dead. Something must have freaked them out. I think you better do as they tell you, Irby. Okay, so I think the person down there is Gask. Was it Irby or Herbie? Sentient candy dispensing man. <laughs> Wait, we did that already. Filling. Okay. But I guess that's how we get out. Let's go get some candy! Hmm. The reflection on the water was very cool. I worry there's now something in the water. Maybe the sub. The Dunbat? Also, I miss- I miss Soji. Oh. Were you here before? I'm fucking open! And nobody's answered to anything! What kind of cold-hearted motherfuckers would just leave us out here to die?! Don't you get it? They're dead. They're all dead. How can you be so calm about this shit? We are dying! How much higher have you guys gone? 20 minutes. Tops. Hey, I'm in red! Seconds away before the CO2 gets me. Strasky. Why wait, right? I'm the master of my own fate! Wait, Stress, what are you doing? Entrances over there. I'm just curious what's over here. Uh, darkness. Darkness is over here. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I wonder if you can, like, fall through that. Probably. Is it a tiny little shrimp? Here's one more. Hey, come on! Open up! What is this shit? Armor for the apocalypse? Omicron is in quarantine. This is why they didn't answer our call. Hello! Christ, Strasky, it's called a radio. 
They're not gonna hear you better if you scream. Jonesy, you okay? Look, I know you're a strong silent type, but I need you to say something every now and then so I know you're all right. Jonesy? Jones. Fuck's sakes. Let's try the annex again. Maybe we can break in. We're losing Jonesy. We need to get her inside. Okay, why? Alvaro, there's nothing we can do for her right now. Hit the stasis switch and let's check the annex. Mm. <sighs> okay. So, there's still at least two more people that we haven't found the bodies of. Either they're out there somewhere or they managed to get in and perhaps we will run into them in some other form. I think, if my math is mathing. Flushing! Use an alternate entrance. Okay, so they may be found an alternate entrance. Uh, I guess maybe that way I was looking, I'd, I do want to go. To see. Be the right way. Uh, yeah, I agree. Oh god. I imagine you can fall here to your death. Why? Why are we... Why are we doing this? Okay. Try to... one of them that's that 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 doesn't seem good oh there's two of them their heads are missing this did did the wow steal their heads are we gonna find like them in a jar or something and they're being the wow is experimenting This is going to be gross. Oh, they don't have a head, so the black box isn't going to be there? So the question is... How do they die? Does their death give me information into something pertinent for me to know or did the wow just steal the head for no reason or a, a reason which isn't necessarily pertinent to so it's just flies okay containment let's do the not containment one right okay I guess we'll look in here too. Oh wow. I feel like they intentionally named it the well. Oh, it sees me. 
Hello? I'm being watched. Override at dive room console. Okay. Nothing over here, no information. I guess maybe this is how we get down. This is the dive room. And south hall. I don't know what FB means. Robot repair bay dispatch. If we get some like weird, y'all remember Sid from Toy Story and how he put a baby's head on like crazy spider legs. If we get some like heads on legs chasing us around, I will be very upset. Hydroponics. Containment F1. Who's this? What the heck? They're still alive. They're still alive. Okay. Are they gonna wake up? It's funny how I just love to crouch. It, this is gonna be like the robot at the beginning and I'm gonna come out here again and he's gonna be gone. The wow is in my head. You need to stop it. Where is the comma in this you comma need to stop it or is there no comma you need to stop it it being something else that i need to stop can we discuss that i would like some cl clarification please all right dive what was in here There is blood coming from the medical bay. At the fans? I don't eat this. Scans. What is this? Okay. Why did the shoe sound like that? I don't like this. I definitely don't like this. I am limping a lot. I wonder if, uh, if I touched the butt, if I would stop limping so much. Okay. Hate, hate it. Butts have that effect on you, eh? Yeah. Hard to go wrong with a good butt. 
Just checking. Ooh, another Omni tool. Uh, okay. Check for visual damage. We already looked at this. We gotta make sure it seals itself. Hearing a lot of whispering. Okay. Checklist. Power suits tested and, con and ready. Jasper confirms. Omicron scans are in the arc. Catherine confirms. Loaded equipment and extra rations. Avashkin. Evashkin confirms. Climber calibrated for weight. Alan confirms. Crane operator ready. Alan confirms. Omicron standing by for pickup in two days. Eames confirms. Okay. Okay. Why does it seem like somebody's in the suit already? Hmm? Huh. Is this Omicron? Everything is so basic, so limited. I hope it's not the Amidol falling apart. Ooh, weird. Okay, we need to find you a power suit. You know, so we can go into the abyss without ending up like a recycled can of soda? Yeah. You think we'll find one that fits me? I mean, I'm kind of in a suit already. That's been bothering me too. You know how you were transferred from Vancouver? Toronto. From then to now. How could I forget? Okay, so we do it again. You want to send me to the future? No, you idiot. I want to transfer your mind into a new body. What? Look, we already know it can be done. We don't need to make it a big deal. It is a big deal, Kath. It's a huge fucking deal. There's got to be something else that can take us down there. But Dunbat at Theta was the only vessel that could take that pressure, and you saw what happened. Then think of something else. Simon, please. You don't have to switch this instant. Just play along for now. If we find something else, then great. If not... I'm not promising anything. Thank you, Simon. Have a look around the room. This is where they would keep the power suits, if there are any left. So... I'm in a very specific body. Right? Part human, one of her old co-workers. Part robot. And she wants to transfer me to... A dive suit? Uh, Am I understanding that correct? What are you waiting for? Find a power suit and let's get on with this. Oh, God. Nice. I found one of the power suits. There's a dead woman inside. At least I think it's a woman. <laughs> Just like the body we found in the annex, she's missing her head. Oh, Gross. God. It could work in our favor, though. Look for a terminal nearby, see if you can fit it up. It was Herber. That was disgusting. Like, oh my God. Okay, okay. Information, a high pressure power suit guaranteed with stand temperature spanning from 50C to negative 75C while keeping a steady 40C default on the inside. The suit will automatically shield the wearer from pressure and maintain the normal one <clears throat> atmosphere up to a depth, depth of 5,000 meters. The onboard controller monitors the wearer's physical state and is able to minimize risk of shock, hyperventilation, even dehydration. A one atmosphere up to 5,000 meters. Quick, how deep is the Titanic? 3,800 meters. We could go to the Titan Titanic. That's cool, right? <laughs> uh, the suit is easily assembled through rotating neck. And we learned that. And wrist rings that lock the gloves and helmet in place. Note that the joints won't seal unless the controller is able to identify where 
through a set of sensory systems. Suits may be locked to specific personnel, but as a default, the suit will accept anyone. The controller is the onboard computer monitoring pulse. Brain activity, body temperature, and stress through skin conductance. It uses this information to provide the wearer with the <laughs> safest experience. Sorry. Tracking. What does this mean? Are there three more? Two, three? I don't know what that means. Uh, A, B, C, D. Not exactly grade A material. Don't write it off just yet. Remember okay. what we found out at Theta. The suit you are wearing is basically just a Cortex chip working a few kinds of structure gel powered by the on-suit battery pack. And a dead column, image and read. Exactly. If you think about it, we're actually incredibly lucky. We found a suit with an already dead body inside. Yay. I guess you're right. What about the wow? What makes you think it'll play along? It's not magic, it's algorithms. A set pattern. The WoW won't be able to deny us, even if it was capable of wanting to. I'm still not crazy about this plan. It feels wrong. Please, Simon. I can't give up on the Ark. I need this to work. So we are really just ship, going along with this because we want to help Catherine. That's one hell of a shopping list. Thanks. I'll just hang around here if that's okay. I'll be okay. Back. We got to do our shopping. This remote control. Uh, that's where we get hooked in to do the next part. That was that was uh, kind of pretty messed up. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, airlock. Now this is open. What does this lead to? Swiped Omnitool. Okay, so this is how we leave after all is said and done. Okay. So now we need to get... What is it we need? We need three things. Come on, we need to get a Cortex chip, a battery pack, and some structure gel. Cortex chip, battery pack, and structure gel. Isn't there like structure gel everywhere? I bet there is. There's structure gel right there. <sighs> Why do I feel like I'm gonna have to deal with some BS to do this? Oh, well, that's not creepy at all. No, oh, Dom is playing Hell Divers. Wow. Okay. I don't think we went through that last time and it wasn't open. Cortex chip, battery pack, structure jaw. Alright, we're in a medical unit. I think perhaps the places we have been able to access probably won't have any things we're looking for. Oh yeah, let's check the trash. That seems like a good idea. This is just another door. Storage. What would be in storage? Nothing. Just got to be thorough. The music is not really lending any good vibes right now.
Okay. So we're in the midsection containment. We've been up here. What the fuck? I'm busy. I'm busy. Can you please? Come back later. Uh, been deep diving prep room. We can't get in laboratory. Or a clean room? Or hydroponics? Okay. It's still there. Okay. Uh, I guess let's override. F3 power room cause system overload. I need to somehow go through all of these. We have to stop it. Stop what? F3 power room. Power room. Uh. Hmm. Get the virus. Why? I'm being silly. There we go. Nice. No foreign containments beyond this point. Well, unfortunately, it's probably it's probably been contaminated. Well, it spreads pretty fast. Check previous results. Systemic shock. Cir circuit. Okay. Structure gel test formula. Set up split circuit board micro battery. Structure gel is red. Test formula blue. Circuit interpretation phase red. Ideal. 
No death phase for structure gel. Test formula death phase after six hours. It sounds like it's making noises. Oh. So we brought this on ourselves. Connectivity, Lisa Cameron. The structure gel has been charged and actually keeps going for a while, even when removed from a power source. If applied to a circuit, it seems to help out with connectivity function. Seems like it's not only connectivity, but even functionality. The gel can make simple machinery work and act more efficiently. However, the modifications that WoW has made the gel are full of extra information that doesn't necessarily make sense. When applied to something more complicated, it causes the gel to act as a cancer upon the host, eventually ruining it. We could use the gel to our advantage, but it needs to be uncalibrated to get rid of the bad code. Okay. Gel can make simple machinery work and act more efficiently. However, the modifications that the WoW has made to the gel are full of extra information that doesn't necessarily make sense. Stop the WoW. Oh, okay. Something wants to stop the WoW. Um... So the WoW modified the structure gel, and now it's spreading, or it's been spreading. Applied gel to dead mouse, we suffer. Okay, I... I hear you. <laughs> I've got to read my lore, though. Gel caused the mouse to appear alive. It was put into the same habitat as a living mouse. The reanimated... Mouse was apathetic while the living one seemed stressed. After 15 minutes, the reanimated mouse attacked and killed the living mouse. Half an hour later, the reanimated mouse stopped moving. The corpse was solid as the gel had hardened with it. I am listening to you. Reanimated another mouse with structure gel. This time, it was done with uncalibrated gel as produced by Eames. The results were impressive. To The thing appears catatonic, but it's more of a sleepwalker. To avoid the thing hardening as before, electromagnets are used to cause a low electrical current within the animal. This has provided us the ability to somewhat control it. Oh, we were doing bad things. The structure gel remains unchanged. The structure gel remains unchanged on a fundamental level. It's still the same. Get the virus. You yeah, okay. Uh, okay. It still remains the same crosslink gel with aligned graphene in an poly unsaturated matrix that was installed throughout Pathos 2 a few years ago. Okay. The problem is not the gel, but its controller, the WoW. The gel has not taken on any new properties. The WoW simply uses it in ways that we would never have dreamed of. Okay. Take the gel away or put it on my body. Overwhelming evidence concludes that all deformed creatures, the fish, the sharks, and even the helpers, were manipulated by WoW via structure gel. They have in some manner been exposed to charged gel and in turn stricken by cancerous growths that affect their whole being. It's difficult to ask why when talking about an AI. But it all started shortly after the comet killed the surface. I can't for sure say if it's bad code or carefully programmed mercy killing, but it looks like it's not going to make things easier for us to survive. Um, interesting that they say mercy killing. Because it, it's definitely not killing things in its mind. Okay, that was a lot of information. So the WoW rewrote the code or is manipulating the structure gel in some sort of way that we normally don't. Structure gel, something of that speed is fast. Oh, that's structure gel. Okay, before we grab that and set off some sort of 
event. Where is your head? Why is your head missing? We can see it happen in real time. Let's put structure gel. It's like, mm, This looks like what we have on uh, our Omni tool. Just lock that in there for now. It's fast. What if we do it again? Remains the same for now. Oh, gosh. Whoa, so weird, so gross. Okay. I don't think. I think this is just to show us. Can't open that. Couldn't really mine that data box anyway. Okay. not so we can't get that structure gel wait can we put something else in here nope service requires so we need Sounds like it's making little noises. <laughs> it's making little noises. So we maybe have to come back. We need a new control chip or something. Not quite sure. I just thought you could talk some 
sent it to me. Ronnie, I'm not at liberty. What's going on inside Alpha? Atlantic sea nettle. Atlantic cod. Oh no. Okay. One, two, three, four. Maybe we turn off the power to these to reroute power somewhere? Oh, we can see how we're looking. Still looking the same. I'm curious if we touch the butthole, if we'll kind of stop limping. Uh, because we're gonna change bodies shortly, right? Let's do it. Uh. Ah, it does. It heals us. A beaker. What am I going to do with a beaker? Okay. I did it. I tried it. Was it bothering you that I was limping around so much? I think those are, those are kind of like health packs for me. I don't think using them or not using them necessarily will change. The outcome. Oh, we have a computer here that I didn't even see. I'm going to go touch the butt. Nah, it was bothering me that I couldn't tell you. Well, I appreciate your restraint and letting me find out for myself. <laughs> I'm sure it was, uh, annoying. <laughs> An unusually sedated orange ruffy found hovering outside Omicron substation. It had a remarkable bone growth that seemed to interfere with its perception. Brought in it inside to study it, but it stiffened and died in the process. During post-mortem study, the thing kicked back to life while being out of the water. Kept swinging for a few minutes, so I returned it to an aquarium. It instantly started banging into the glass and bludgeons itself to death before I could relocate it. Oh my god. So it probably got, uh, had like structure gel in it? Shelly, dead on arrival. Darby and Waldeck identified it as what was sabotaging the Lumar probe at about 900 meters depth. It's a 150 centimeter long rudder fish. That looks like it's merged with some other kind of fish or shark. It's the freakiest form of mutation we've seen so far. It's clear that it's getting worse. Something is causing this and I'm not buying the radioactive fallout nonsense that Ovari can't- or Ovari can't shut up about. Dead on arrival. The dead man found in the climber- on the climber this morning has been identified as Johan Ross, the AI psychologist working at Tau. I can't even begin to imagine what has happened down in the abyss. Well, great, we're going to go down there, I guess. Frankly, I won't risk losing my staff by going down there to look. If the ARC team is alive, which I highly doubt, they will have to find a way to give us a sign. We're not going down there again without good reason. Here's the thing. Nowhere is safe. <laughs> nowhere is safe. Should I should I walk in here? Will you, will you calm down? <laughs> Please. Um, okay, you're still here. Doing your thing. Main entrance. Oop, 
containment, power room, main entrance, hydroponics. We haven't gotten into hydroponics. Things are a little bit algae-fied in here, it seems. Computer we can't use. There's cameras everywhere. We're just being watched. Ooh. Hey, Andrea? Yeah? I was talking to Cameron about protein solubization. <laughs> Do you think we could break the aggregate and structure gel without flattening the configuration? Jesus. That was a mouthful. You've been listening to Cameron, that's for sure. What do you want, Raleigh? <sighs> Can you blame me for trying to figure this out? I've been having the dreams too, you know. <gasps> I don't know what to believe. Oh, I know. Everything from the sudden signal amplification in black boxes to having a comatose Dr. Ross locked up in the glass jar. In a glass jar? We've all been going a bit nuts. Tell me about it. It feels like my head's about to explode. <gasps> that other person said their tinnitus was killing them. Speaking. Could we stop the wow from you? It doesn't work like that. Even if there was a site alpha? Hypothetically speaking, I guess we could try. Rally, are you recording this? Sorry. I just. Sorry. Ooh, interesting. Okay. So I'm realizing Rally is Herbie. Herbie? Herbie? Uh, and she's the one whose body we're about to try to get dumped into, basically. I wonder if we're going to have any, um, conflict of interest. Okay, so we've got down and we've got up. Uh, upper is... BT7? What is BT7? Then lower dress room comms workshop. Renamed? Uh, I guess let's do upper first. Run while we can. That's lower. Medical Research Facilities, Advanced Mariculture, home of the Abyss Climber Rig. Enjoy! I will try my darndest. Containment. F2. Something's rumbling around. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Can't open that. We're not going to be able to... We're not going to be able to listen to any of them. That's... Ugh. What is going on? This is where we came up. Okay. Oh, we can kind of see in here. Door we can't get past, but there's a door open on the other side. Ah, oh, we have to override on each section. I guess we'll do upper first. Oh, that's so freaky. Oh. Oh 
my god. Okay. Anything worth taking? Can I... Excuse me. Johan Ross was found dead on the climber this morning. The ARC team went down a couple of days ago, but I see no reason to suspect them playing a part in his death. The climber can't be operated from the abyss, so there was a scheduled retrieval. The climber returned with only a lifeless body of Alpha member Johan Ross. No traces of the ARC team. Cameron Eames Lansky. All studying the body inside containment. I'll follow up with whatever they find. Delenda Est. Wasn't Catherine part of the ARC team? Wasn't she supposed to go down? I'm forgetting... where she ended up. The WoW have been getting more aggressive, pushing all systems to their limits. Ironically, the dead Dr. Johan Ross would be the perfect person to ask why the WoW is making such a big buzz about his passing. Mm. After all, the WoW isn't supposed to want anything. And definitely not to mourn people. The system overload affects the staff considerably. Headaches, loss of sleep, unwarranted stress. And it seems to be getting worse. Mm. I could give some advice if you can get through. Then end est. So, the black boxes that everyone seems to have uh, allow the WoW to communicate with them in some way? Or the it, they communicate with the systems that are down here, and because the WoW is overloading it, it's causing stress, stress for their black boxes? The staff looks like they're about to explode. Every other person walks around with nosebleeds, and the rest keep wiping stains of blood from their eyes to keep them from overflowing to do with the WoW trying to free Ross somehow, for sure. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if the body just got up and left. Rally Herber, our dispatcher, has been snooping around asking questions she shouldn't. Uh -oh. She says she's going down into the abyss to find Alpha. I can't bring myself to stop her. What are they gonna do? Oh my god, their heads have exploded. Their heads have all literally exploded. The WoW's not like stealing their heads. They just... They combusted. That's crazy. On September 13th, Vic O'Clara ordered the staff at Tau to evacuate and move up to the plateau. Together with engineer Alan Waldeck, I descended into the abyss to assist the evacuation. Following protocol, we waited at the climber platform for 140 minutes and made several attempts to contact Tau. I decided to move towards the site, thinking it might intercept them. That's when I noticed the guiding lights flickering and soon the whole path shut down, a mega sector swallowed by darkness. I pushed on with my floodlight until I heard screaming over the short range radio. It carried on, breaking in and out of range. As I hurried closer to investigate, I came upon the lacerated body of field worker Espos. Espinoso. Something big, big had almost cut her in two. Oh no. I considered this the importance of saving Tao and more specifically Ross as I heard Espinosa's colleagues getting massacred over the radio. Seeing no way to possibly improve the situation, I hurried back to the climber and left the people at Tao to their fate. This is just not so fun down there. Also, why is Ross so important? Ross is is Ross kind of like me? With some luck, Ross had Ross made it back to Tau and is able to continue his work at Alpha. To avoid further disturbances, I have decided to report the evacuation as a complete failure, hoping it will stop Theta from attempting another one. Hmm. Claudia Eames, the manager of Omicron, has already ordered the climber to stay at the plateau for now. My report on the savage wildlife scared everyone enough to stop Waldeck and Darby from maintaining the Lumar probes. It's a good thing Golaski is offsite because I have a feeling he would not have Proved. The restrictions came out slightly more severe than I anticipated, anticipated, but I'll take it, as long as Ross is left alone to work with the WoW. 
So, Ross was working on the WoW. They formed a connection somehow. When Ross got hurt or died, or not really sure, I'm really fuzzy on this, the WoW freaked out. Carthage, Julia, Dahl, Johan Ross, Mark Serang? He killed himself though. Okay. Yes. Oh, they were. Oh, they weren't all. There was still D left in there. The diving. Something looking down. Where are these images from? Is this. Julia? Is that her name? I'm not sure the importance of these images. Okay, so, uh... The black boxes made their heads explode. Which is... wow. Crazy. <gasps> A meal for me? Yummy doodles. All right, I think that's it. That's... That's a lot. <laughs> All right, let's go power room. I bet there's a battery in here? Fingers crossed. A door we can't open. And a storage. Always good to check storage. Okay. Uh, it is exactly as it says. It's storage. I was thinking about in that one room where we found like four people all with their heads missing, how one of them still had a helmet on but their head was missing. And I was like, huh, that's very weird. Uh, but now it makes sense. <laughs> Now it very much makes sense. Uh, excuse me? <gasps> oh no. Oh my god. Ah, of course. Of course, of course. Sure, 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 sure. None, none in here. Uh, high performance power fact. Standard connection, connection, high Matsu energy pal for machine tools. Oh God, I forgot about this. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like, uh, <laughs> I should, I should, uh, can I pick this up? Nope. N2O2 helium. Nitrogen, oxygen, helium? Okay, so we've got to play a little sneaky sneaky. with whoever this is. Cool, love that. Just kidding. run into anything. A thing I can't touch.
I'm not sure if I'm meant to be like... What was that? I, I think I missed my opportunity for that. Unforge. This is a lot. You've got to like get close to her to trigger her. Oh, Jesus. Almost well done. I think I died here like three times. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I did not like that. I did not. At least we got the thing. We're gonna... I mean, she can... She can open and close doors. But at the very least, we're gonna... We're gonna close that door. Yes? What's important? I wrote well done and then she charged. Look, I, I, I still made it and I've got a, I've got a, I can, I can fist this. Can get some health back. We cannot limp around. Hmm. Okay. I didn't die, die. I believe we've done all the upper. Yeah, so everyone's heads just pop. I guess we could do that downstairs. Don't have to do it up here. Where were the stairs again? Over here, I think? Oh! 
What did I say? What did I say? Who's running around now? Golly heck. I wonder why some of them did not explode. You know? Also, was that person on the floor? Was that Johan, perhaps? This is where we came in. Right. Okay. I feel like things are about to get pretty intense doing this last bit. Uh, we have a battery. We have a chip, but it's a control chip that w we need to replace to get the structure gel, I think. And I don't believe we found a cortex chip yet. So we, we only have one thing, I believe. Yep, 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 yep. All good, all, all cool. So the dress room, the workshop and communications, which I guess we couldn't get to before. This is how we came down. This is how we came in. Is this dress room? This must be dress room. Okay, so this is a hallway that leads to comms and workshop. Or I can't read? Robot worker? Something about a nightmare. Okay. Okay. Oh, interesting. Diagnostics. A95 worker. I think we've seen these outside quite a bit. Is that a button? <laughs> Can't open that. Puzzle time, I guess. Ooh, cortex chip. Comms motor optics. You're lit. Whoa! Oh my god. Hello! Welcome in, raiders. Queers for fears, exactly. I'm getting scared up in here. I was so proud of myself because I was I was feeling pretty good about playing this and not getting scared, and then it just went to a whole other level, and now I got scared. It's been a while, but love Soma when I played. I'm I'm truly I am very much loving it. I'm loving it uh for the story and like how much it makes you think. I don't love the jump scares. <laughs> I am a sensitive BB. Oh, I will begin again. <laughs> We're currently in a, a puzzle trying to get a cortex ship. I'm not really sure what's going on. BRB? Okay. Burb. I struggled on a puzzle for a pretty long time earlier, uh, but we got there. But this one seems less so. Oh wait, we have... Okay, so this is facing a certain way? Oh. Oh. Okay. Interesting. 
What, uh, what does this mean? Make them all face the same way. Are you okay? You dominate pussies? Ah! Thank you, perfect pair. I don't think I dominated the one earlier. Okay, so we need these to go down. Okay. So we can eject the cortex chip. Got it. Nice. Oh, that's so strange looking. I guess that's what we look like. <laughs> Welcome in, Nikoto. Hello, I am definitely not late to the raid. Um, you're right on time. No one said anything about being late. Um, also, just, 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 just in case. I am playing a game that is a little bit uh, saucy. I have a have a content warning. We're definitely on a level that <sighs> my body is like pre-preparing for being scared right now. Uh, we're definitely oh, <gasps> that's them. Is this Johan Ross? We're on a level where there's a lot more gore. This must be Johan. What the frick? Okay. There's a lot going on in here. Someone was... doodling. The Heart of Alpha. Do you think the comet's down there? Maybe the comet is down there. And Tau, find Alpha, take the gel to Alpha. Interesting. I wish I remembered enough this game to know how far in you are. I'm on Omicron. Um, and I'm going to be going down into the abyss. And I believe Alpha and Tau are left. Is what it seems like because it's fine tau fine alpha there's the last two spots on the map so um three quarters is what i guessed yes i do almost have the second suit this we're finding bits for the second suit right now got a lot of triangles uh, anyone watch gravity falls looks like bill alpha needs medicine I can't, I, I can't tell. It's sick. Sick, bro. These are all over the place. Take it to Alpha in the Abyss. There has been speculation that Alpha isn't real. I think I made it farther than this. I just don't want to mention anything spoilerly, which is why I'm so focused on where you're at. <laughs> Perfect, perfect. I appreciate that. Squeeze me. I'm just... Yeah, maybe you need this more than me. C-A? A red circle. Alright, I'll go. Are you there? I hear you, Herbie. What's up? Uh, just wanted to check in. I have to go do something. I might not be around for a few days, okay? Rally her relieving the listening post? Must be important. It is, Strask. It is. Okay, but... Okay, her Herbie's body was in the dive suit. It kind of seemed like she still had a head. Oh, what did that say? Omicron, can you hear us? Loud and clear. Everyone all right? You will be as soon as we make friends with the power suits. I'm sure you'll get used to it. What is that background noise? Look at that. Just wanted to check in before we pass the last working Lumar probe. Guys, any 
any last words to Omicron? Don't forget to pick us up. Oh, it's a whale. You uh, heard that, right? Don't worry, we won't forget. An All eternal right. my- nightmare. Take the job. Okay. Good luck, guys. Uh. Tao, please respond. This is Rally Herber calling from Omicron. Please respond, Tao. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Okay. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. So Harvey was very curious what was going on at Alpha. Unfortunately, she did not make it. Doesn't seem like much we can do in this room. might be Johan. I'm still missing something, I think, because I don't believe I can get the structure gel yet. Uh-oh. <laughs> Please, I don't want to. Oh. Oh my god. I thought that I thought that was a new person. All right, I believe we go back upstairs. Poison the well. So it does kind of seem like there's a conflict between the wow and something else. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Super cool. It's breaking. If you jump scare me right now, I swear. It's breaking. <sighs> I guess, let's see what we do have. Still blood around. Oh, did we go this way? Was Johan the scientist who came back up? Yes. Johan Ross. Uh, one of the scientists, researchers, I, I don't really know, doctors, uh, Julia, I think her name was, was saying that the WoW seemed very upset by what happened to Johan. And that, that was weird. Like, uh, this AI shouldn't be having an emotional response like that. That cabinet, the one with the broken opening mechanism, <laughs> maybe you can get it open somehow. You'll return to find the sentient stress ball haunting Omega? Maybe. What get is- Get the locked cabinet open. Okay. I was not listening. Oh uh, yeah, so this is, uh, this is Herbie. That was quite a, a cutscene. Teensy bit. Teensy bit gross. Alright, so... The... We need... The medical bay, I believe? Uh... It's not in here. Lotion, a beaker. It is weird to look at ourselves and realize that our eyeballs are our cortex core or whatever. So we're about to have a new face. But that's us.
This does not work. We listen to this. Uh, hydroponics. Medical bay. There we go. Oh wait, no. I was just here. It's in... It's in... The lab, maybe? Clean room? Oh no, it's in the clean room. We've gotta get hosed down. I wonder when we get transferred to our new body, our dive suit, if, like, right now we kind of have some stuff on us. <laughs> that will fix it, right? Service required. How do I find a control chip? I need to break a window again. It doesn't let us take this. Nothing in here we can take. Can I break this? All right, chair. Do work. Okay, I guess not. Ah! I don't know where the control chip is. If I were a control chip, where would I be? I picked up... I picked up something. But I'm not sure where to use it. Can't get in there. Dive room, medical bay. I don't think it has it. I didn't end up finding anything in here. Hmm. Oh. Uh, Paul Lansky, Ross and the WoW. Oh, here's some more info. Confirmed a correlation between the overloaded systems and the corpse of Dr. Ross. I was able to shield off the corpse inside the glass jar for a couple of seconds and witnessed a massive drop in the readings. If we ha really have to keep Ross inside Omicron, I suggest we find a way to er erect a permanent barrier to avoid severe system malfunctions. Okay. So Ross was giving off... charges? Well, I was definitely repairing Ross's corpse. Is that who we're seeing down there? I, I really think it might be. It's the most insane thing I've ever encountered. Somehow the WoW, primarily relegated to the structure gel system, ge structure gel inside the walls, is bombarding the corpse with every system it can access. The glass jar is surrounded by an unhealthy amount of electromagnetism and a radiation which seems to be instructing gel already stuck inside Ross's body. Not sure what the WoW expects to happen when it's restored, but at least all the crazy should stop when the body hits 100%. Well, or... Or things just get crazier. Oops. 
Why was the WoW so upset about Johan? Why can't I find the thing I need? to go back to upper in that area <laughs> I don't really want to but I suppose I will this is lower uh hydroponics triple check check the trash oh oh no it's just my cursor did they keep Johan in one of these jars? I'm confused when they say jar. Like, what do you mean, jar? Did you get the cortex so you're only missing the gel? Correct. I am only missing the gel. And I need a chip to fix it? Is that me breathing? <laughs> Who's breathing? Uh, we don't really want to go that way. There's a very scary person in there. Don't remember seeing anything we could really use here. Just some food. More food. The gel is in the cabinet, right? That you need to fix the card you already have. I do have some sort of card, but it's not really bringing up any sort of display. Uh, maybe there's something else I should be looking at? I do have another chip of some sort. I can't even remember where I got it from. Oh, clean room. I mean, I did have trouble getting that elevator chip installed the first time. So maybe I'm just not quite in the right position. Can't put anything in here. Anything to insert? Oh, look at this iPhone. Wow, crazy. This is all reading. Do that before? Um. Uh, weird. Oh no. God. I didn't have the card before? Oh. I thought I had that for a while. I thought I had it when I tried opening that, but apparently I did not. Does this count as the gel? Or do I put this... Can you use the gel on the mouse? Oh no. That's a good question. Let's see.
I feel like this is maybe not the best idea, but for science, we'll put it on the butt. It do be moving. It came back to life. Or something like it. It's funny how they have these individual like looking containment spots and they're like, you know what? The rail between all three. Um. Yeah, just a hole. Containment, shimentainment, you know? All right, take the Jill to Alpha. I feel like things are about to get weird. Schwantz. Also, where did we just put that giant thing of gel? I don't. I'm not sure we really have pockets. You know where. Up the butt. Um, and now we want to go... Run? I don't even know how one of WoW's monsters. I we have we need managed to yeah. find the right way to go. Let's get to work. Good, good God. Um, we have everything we need. Okay, okay. Do we? Crazy. Don't worry, it'll work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure it's all bunched together with the structure gel connecting all the parts. All right, try activating the seat from the terminal again. Oh, God, okay. Oh, pro strats. <laughs> pro fear. I believe we're doing this. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? I was gonna suggest that if you refused. You'd go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the Ark. You'd really do it, change body. Yes, if you want to stay here, I'm not gonna stand in your way. Oh, can you technically to end the game now? What would be like before? Close my eyes and then... And then open them again. All right, let's do it. Thank you, Simon. Never Go mind. sit in the pilot seat in the next room. You might need to boot it up. All right. Might need to boot it up. Just some power cables and everything. Very scary. We need to loop back the activity manifested by your current Cortex chip, run it through the amplifier, feed it into the new chip, and then make sure it's synced. Loop back. Yeah, you lost, lost me. Halfway there. You don't really need to understand it. Just make them line up. Make them line up. Okay. Oh, okay. There's another game I played recently that... How do you do this? Frequency 5. We want you less. Oh, we're getting there. That's everything. You can climb into the pilot seat sure. now. Sure. Cool. Already? I have everything under control, so please. 
Not creepy at all. Totally not an executioner's chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally, it'll be fine. Nice. <laughs> Thanks, Mojo. Go sit in the pilot seat. Thank you, Catherine. I will. Sorry about any discomfort. This should be over soon. It's like having a picture taken. But with the most expensive camera in the world. You know, Indians thought photos would steal their souls. What a callback. In case, they'd be right. <laughs> I'm a cheerleader. Yes, you are. We're gonna be staring at a wall? Yep. Ugh. What was that? No, I, it's just... Why was it still talking? It's the same like before. Oh, Catherine, no, why was he still no, 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 no. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the seat was copied. And now you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. <sighs> no. Damn, Kath. Two Simons? There can't be two Simons. What did you think would happen? That you were going to take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm sorry. Yeah, I wouldn't totally that hate way. that. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. Oh, wow. What's gonna happen to him? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in this fucking nightmare again? All alone? That's so cruel. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? You do that? Uh, I would. Maybe. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd rather not stay plugged in any longer. <sighs> I, I think I would because... This Simon, in the chair, is under the impression that he was transferred. No longer exists in this body. Kiss him by fire- bye. Yeah. Give him a sweet little... Love you, buddy. Um, but we're not gonna- like, in what world would it be like, oh yeah, it would be better to have this Simon wake up in a few days and be just left that's that sounds awful with all the crazy stuff that wow is doing like this simon doesn't really think he exists in this body anymore Like I said before, I can only make choices for myself, and this is a choice for myself. Okay. I left my Simon alive. He has a chance he could do something, I figured. Is that what happened to the Simon you're playing as? You just woke up in the abyss? Yes. Uh, no. No, no, no. Um, my Simon just woke up on Upsilon in a chair. We learned that we were a legacy scan. And because we had scanned only, been scanned only up until the point where we were trying to figure out what was happening with our brain, uh, that's all we remember to, to. So to us, it seemed like something wild and crazy had happened. Um, we later found documentation that uh, original Simon had died just like two months later. Well, my Simon likes Swiss cheese. <laughs> um, my Simon likes sweet dreams. Uh, I guess we're off. We do need this though. <laughs> oh, interesting. And now we go into the abyss. Ah, Simons and their cheese. 
A new you changed body at Omicron. It's a new me. I'm sure this won't be scary at all. Um, hello? Oh, we're, we're thinking. <laughs> what if we don't? <laughs> you know what? Rewind. What if we both stay here and then we become best buds and uh, we... Uh, just just chill and hang out and um, don't go into the dark. I hate this. <sighs> the Simon army begins now. Simon and Simon. Not Simon and Garfunkel. Wrong. Simon and Simon. I'm just going to look straight ahead. This is like when I swim in a lake... As long as I don't look down too much, it just it just falls off. As long as I don't look down too much, everything's okay. I'm just swimming across the lake. I'm just falling into the abyss. What do you mean? Okay, I don't go down that way. Is this the first time you've been in the water? No. <laughs> it's not the first time I've been in the water. I guess we go this way. Silly me. <laughs> I, uh, I mean, you walk in the water through to get to each, uh, different location. This is the first time I'm in the water where it's quite dark. I guess the no ladder climbing thing should have been a sign that I was meant to maybe not take that ladder, but they definitely were like, yeah, we're gonna get them. We're gonna get them good. Oh, it's an amusement park ride. That's it. Uh, hello. Are we done? <laughs> yeah. Activate the clara, please. Sure thing. Wow. We're... we're fighting. Catherine and I are fighting. I guess I don't sit in the one with the seat. Activate the climber. Passengers, one. We could just go up. How do I activate it? Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that was my own arm! Oh, this is good. We can watch we we how deep we go. Is that even possible? If there's some kind of afterlife, do you think my place is taken? Why did I get crushed? Because like I went There's too far? Me? I mean, my depth is, I guess, only up to 5,000 meters. That's me! Around. Right there. This little... What do you think, Catherine? We're going somewhere. Is there a full of redundant copies of the same people? There's someone up there who called me an imposter? Oh. We're g we love to get into an existential crisis. It's luck, right? I woke up in the right body. They basically flipped a coin, and if I had called the wrong side, I'd be rotting away at Omicron. I mean, there's nowhere to know, right? You didn't hit the make sure Simon wakes up in the right body switch, did you? Not that you would know. I mean, he would still claim to be the right Simon. Yeah. Christ. This is awful. We did an awful fucking thing. This reminds me mind, of the movie you? Primer. How can you know that it's not me, the me that I am, the same that I've always been? Please say something. I don't want to think. Please. Oh, just the midnight I zone. Don't know what to say. Perpetual don't darkness. Know what to say. No permanent sights. No permanent sights? Do the sights move? 
I used to climb the stairs all the way to the top of the building. And I can still feel how I had to, you know, tuck my arm so I could push the heavy steel door open. Well, the first time that I dared go up there, I stepped out onto the roof and watched the smog rise and fall over Taipei. <sighs> my heart. All the way up to the corner ledge, and, you know, I felt the warm wind in my hair, and the sun was setting, and the streets below were shadowed by the tall buildings. The people pushing through the crowd flowed like paint from an artist's brush. Street food vendors filled the air with aromas of all my favorite foods. For a brief moment, I felt connected to the world in a way that I never had before. It was the most profound feeling of comfort and sense of belonging I could ever hope for. I really never felt the same way again, but I went up to the roof many times after. <laughs> I'm not religious, but I can see why people would be. The privilege of being makes a strong case, at least every once in a while. Do you still feel that sense of awe? Even like this? Things are different, but we're still here. What's the point of going on? Everyone's gone. All the people still left are digital copies trapped in computers at the bottom of the sea. We'll never be able to rebuild or reclaim what we were. Are you really so unhappy being what you are, or is this about the man who went for a scan a hundred years ago? Both, I guess. Hmm. When I was back in Toronto, even the worst case, the darkest futures I could predict, they at least included my previous life somehow. I feel so uprooted. There's nothing here that I recognize, nothing that makes me feel like I belong. Even if we make it to the Ark, would it be any different? I'd still be alone. No friends. No family. You could make new friends? I'm sure everyone would like to know the time <laughs> If not, you still have... <laughs> no. Why would you do this to me? Catherine? Kath? Hello, Catherine. What happened? <laughs> it won't let me pick it up. Oh no. It'd be cool if it wasn't so freaky. That was so rude. If not, you still have it. And now I don't even have Catherine. Wait, what? I'll just sit back down. Oh my gosh. It's watching me. Pretty hard, really testing the limits of my suit. Don't worry. It will hold. Comforting. It will hold. That was that was that was so rude. What do I do? Sit back. Oh. Does does time freeze when you're not powered? Time is a minute. What is it? That's weird. I don't feel like I'm being held back or hindered. And I don't have the opportunity to reflect on the time I'm missing. It's hmm. simply missing. Sounds like sleeping without the dreaming. Yes. But generally you anticipate when you're about to sleep, and there's a natural continuation since we tend to wake up where we went to sleep. My experience is more like an ever-changing moment that never really seems Yell to scenes. find closure. Sounds kind of like a movie being edited live. I suppose so. I guess it sounds What's exciting, that? but it really keeps me activated to the point of exhaustion. It's rough. Could be worse. Could be a time traveler. Also, why is my vision getting so funky? 
Hello? <laughs> no, 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 no. You did it! You did it! I will make preparations. Um, no thanks. I'll pass. <laughs> I'll pass. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe that's Johan Ross? Oh, good, you're back. What do you mean back? What Something dropped under the They're preparing cage. dessert? Don't if only. Out. Spoke to me. Looks like a man, one of WoW's creatures. It just stared at you for a moment, then threw itself down the abyss. Said it would make preparations. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, me neither. It very strange. I thought it was going to kill you for sure. Deep sea pudding. <laughs> oh no. That was. Um... Looks like we're closing in on the ocean floor. Good. Not sure the climber can take it much longer. No, okay, no. That so is no. This is the Omega Sector. It's yeah. How come it didn't need a suit? Plan used by Pathos Two. I expect we'll have to do some walking before we reach town. You haven't been here before? Not in a way that'll help us. Right, the other you has been here. We're following in little footsteps, Kath. Okay, so Kath did steps. come down this way. Still be down here somewhere, technically. Oh Don't no. Mind me, freaks me out. What if that was Kath? What if that was Kath? She's very determined to get the arc up. Maybe Kath somehow... I don't know, in this form is able to separate her own thoughts from the wow and is doing everything she can to still get the ark out of the water i don't know all right nope oh I don't like how I can't see very far in the water. It's really freaky. I have to sneeze. Anyway. I guess at least there are lights down here. Thank you. Lumar Link needed to call Climber. Danger. Area unsafe. Stay close to the lights. Yeah. I will. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me in. ACR log. So the Climber log. Uh, sample collection. Physical checkups. physical check tau evacuation so april no a r r oh arrived departed i see okay failed bringing the arc to phi remote hmm they're like volcanoes down here <laughs> you know what's gonna happen is one of these lights is gonna be kind of out and we're gonna have to like go between and we're gonna get jump scared by a huge fucking fish Tao? that's what's gonna please, happen Tao. please answer Tao nothing it's dead Let's move out. We'll try the next one. Also, I don't think we went to Phi. So, 
so these are power relays. Follow the lights, follow the lights, follow the lights. Stay close to the lights. Oh my gosh. Does the light also attract things, though? Question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> oh, here's a computer. Fault line activity. Strong torrents expected. Okay, so climber station left. Observatory, TVSD, Tau. Oh, Phi is down this way. Right, 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 right. And we're also Alpha... What's Alpha? Where's Alpha? Who Alpha? Why Alpha? Okay. And we run. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus, did you see that? Stick to the lamp lights. They won't go near them. I can't, Valglasser. It's important I reach Omicron. Our future depends on it. Calm down. Let's just follow the path. If I die, I need you to tell Julia Dahl that the world is out of control. She needs to get to Sarang. He'll know what to do. Raz, you can tell them yourself. We just need to pick up the pace, okay? Glass! We lost the path! We need to go back! I know where to go. Come on! It's over there! <laughs> The light is over there! Final push for us. Almost there, we just... Ah! Okay, so Ross was aware that the WoW was out of control. Is it because the WoW was like connecting with him in some way that freaks me out danger stay close to the lights blue leads to tau red leads to the climber they sure were like you know what would be smart is to put all these stations really far apart from each other and then not have super reliable transportation to get between them you know, you know what I say, danger is the spice of life. We run, we just run. Shh, nope, we don't even look. We don't even look. We don't even look. We don't even look. Oh my God, we don't even look. We, we go straight in here. We don't even look. See nothing. Inventory. Here comes your sushi since you now have plenty of other dangerous spice. <laughs> this is the one time I'm gonna pass on sushi. Okay, we've got some live bait. Oh boy. Mission logs, observation, lure, dried squid, cameras, quad, HDR low luma, target frilled shark. Rare shark approached the luminous lure, circled around to eat the dried squid. Unlikely that it frequents this depth, an anomaly. Yeah, that is, that is weird. <laughs> Too much structure gel in this low quality sushi. <laughs> Tastes a little chewy, little goopy. Uh, Atlantic blue marlin. Oh, is the lure. Okay. 
Target, giant squid. Description, mantle the size of a man. Wow. The mantle is like, the, is that their beak? Terrifying. Uh, estimated length of the whole thing, 10 to 12 meters. I don't understand meters, but that sounds big. Frantic attack tore the marlin apart. As soon as we turned on the lights, it quickly fled the area. C clearly another specimen affected by the leaking structure gel. Partially covered in scales and newly formed bone structure protruding through the mantle? Mantle. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. I got enough of these hackers in, in Outer Wilds. Thank you, but no. No, 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 no. Target unknown. <laughs> The creatures disfigured by the gel are manic and will attack anything. Still hard to determine how WoW has affected their behavior beyond their apparent aggression and affinity with light. The creatures seem to hunt something particular, something not present in this ecosystem. What does that mean? Something not present in their ecosystem. Item one, humpback whale. I read this as poop. It's Papa. This must be the comet. What is, what is, what is, what is, what is, what is this? Gold, red, blue. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Gold. Red, blue. I don't understand these graphs. Ah, uh, well, when the comet fell, a lot of them died. Okay, do I, for, for funsies, do I let the beastie get me? Hmm? The true terror of the oceans. Unlabeled charts. True. <laughs> Should I let the beastie get me? You know the problem here. Uh, we have seemed to run a bit out of lights. Where do we go? <laughs> Maybe the beastie will get me regardless. Oh my god. I hate this. I'm gonna get so scared. <clears throat> oh, we can heal. Nice. I realize now that the plus is supposed to signify that it's like a health pack. <gasps> I'm a fool! Please, 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 please. No, oh, no, 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 no. Is it really? So, it took me the longest time to figure out, but the buttholes, uh, even though technically they're wow, they do heal you. And they don't really affect anything. Uh, maybe perhaps, perhaps except, oh, okay. Oh no. Maybe perhaps except that the, it knocks out the power a lot. It almost seems like we're in an underwater river here. I 100% thought they were superfluous and maybe story related. Don't know that for real. Um, I was thinking that too. Um... But then for Funzied, I, I, I was like limping a lot and it wasn't healing between sections for some reason. And I was like, I wonder if this will heal me. And it did. I stopped limping. And it doesn't really... Yeah. I imagine maybe if you never get hurt, which I think is pretty impossible. Uh, maybe you could do it without. Oh god. Can we, like, hide in here? <gasps> <laughs> oh, 
no. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's fine. No, 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 no. Well, since Simon is half dead person and half structure gel, it's probably okay to punch buttholes all you want. <laughs> you can replay on easy difficulty. Monsters won't aggro. Oh. Why does it want me? You know? What about me does it like? Oh god, 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 oh god. Nope. 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 I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm I'm stuck. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. We're getting closer. These particles remind me of like sometimes when you see floaty stuff in your eye. I'm <laughs> just like, is there something wrong with my eyes right now? <sighs> the noises are making my skin like crawl just a little bit. I guess this is from the fault line. Any, do you any, any of you watched uh, Pacific Rim? Do you remember the movie Pacific Rim? And how they dive into the they dive they don't they don't dive but they they get put in the Pacific Ocean way down there, and and the, there's just like all these undercurrents and everything. Nope. Oh my God! I love Pacific Rim. <laughs> So reminding me of that. Okay. Careful. It's buzzy. Insufficient power. Scared me. Now, can you hear this? Anyone there? This is Tao. Who is this? This is Ian Peterson of Beta calling. I got a team with me, and we're about half a kilometer from Tau. What? How, how did... You came in the climber? Listen, we're having a really hard time with this sector. Uh -huh. Heavy turbulence is making it difficult to move forward, and the wildlife you've got is absolutely rabid. The storm comes and goes. The yes, Joba. The weather is it relatively is. fair right now. You should is move out as soon as possible. a good script? Stick to the lights. Nar? The critters should leave you alone. Is it a fun movie? Right, you heard the man. Yes. We're moving out, people. It's giant Stop. robots. Keep the doors unlocked. We're coming in. Hope there wasn't something there that I really needed to know. Had to talk about Pacific Rim. What are you? Garage. Okay. We're stuck. Uh oh. Oh, look at those tube worms. Um, are you a distraction? How do we get you to go forward? Yes. Will you follow me? Maybe... The thing said insufficient power and I didn't recheck it. Ah, yes, here we go. 
But now what? Now what? Oh. Okay. Uh, we gotta go. <laughs> oh god. We're like, we're like the little fish that like to swim on the bellies of sharks. We are a wee little fish. We are not scared. We have a robot to protect us. We're looking straight ahead. Oh my god. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh my god. There's a light there. I imagine we kind of are heading this way. Okay. And then what? Following these little things. Surely nothing can go wrong. Oh, 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 oh God, I hate this. Oh, whoa. I know they're like crabs, but they're also spiders. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I know. I know that that, that, that is, that is a fish pretending to be something. We're not going to that. Yeah. Blue. 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 More blue. <laughs> there it is. This uh, this is awful. just gonna let you do your thing right there don't be worrying no worries light to light that's what I say Did I need to zigzag there? No, not necessarily. But I'm gonna go light to light! That's freaky looking. That's so freaky looking. I guess it was unlocked? Alright, Kath. 
Let me in. We don't stay close. Never been happier to be inside. Now let's find the ark. All right. Another dive room? That seems, that seems good. Seems good. <sighs> All right, and actually, this seems like a good place to uh, wrap up now that we're at Tau. <laughs>